Hey guys, a quick look ahead of the events of the week to come, starting the week of November 23rd. This is the second week of the Thanksgiving event and actually covers Thanksgiving Day for us in the U.S. And um, here we go. So everything continues from last week, the event boss, the, the quests, all of that. They all continue and then we have some new stuff that adds on to the currency. So we're going to start with the regular events. We have wheel. This is the new wheel style. So you have a fodder hero at 250. I say fodder, but Olivia is too precious for fodder. Um, and then you have an elite non-heaven non and hell hero choice chest at 400. So now wheel is really good. You can spin it anytime you get it. It's better, definitely better to be saving for a full round rather than just pulling 150 every three weeks. Like I know a lot of people have been doing just for the miracle eyes, but definitely now that you get more heroes and you get, or you can get a chance of moonstones and all of this at a full round, it's definitely better to start aiming for this. Uh, Moonstone artifacts continue, and we have Saizo and Themis in the Soul Shop. They are at the new reduced cost, so 5,000 and 8,000, rather than 8 and 12 like before. But I don't know that either of these are really worth it. Maybe Saizo if you happen to need him. He definitely will be in one of the next coming waves to go to Platinum. No, I don't know that, but most likely he will, and then... If you want to start stocking up copies, you can get them here. But he's available elsewhere, so, you know, that's up to you. Um, currency continues. All right, let's go into the new stuff for Thanksgiving. So the first one is going to be this. This is a hero flip. I don't know what else to call it. So you use one of these maple leaves. You do get one try for free. Actually, I should revise that because you get one try for free. So we'll change the math a little bit here. So what's going to happen is you flip five cards. Okay, and you're going to get a reward based on the level of it. And so here is the book. So you can see the rarity of all the heroes. I don't know that it's going to be easy to tell like offhand what's what. I was kind of just going based on rarity numbers, but I'm not... It's going to be hard to remember what's what. So anyway, you are given three of these chestnuts per day, and you use those to re-roll these into better, higher level heroes. Now, I, I am not going to have any clue how I'm supposed to really be doing this, actually, because it's hard to remember which ones are the good ones. And so you get a reward based on, like, how many higher level heroes. I think it's same it's not same faction but i'm not entirely sure so let's see here i've got one up let's re-roll you i got shooed my total went up to 200 uh now my total went down nothing happened okay so my total went up to 250 it looks like it's faction related okay and then these uh chestnuts you can buy with gems a hundred per let's see if I can get another undead oh boy oops no I don't want to pay money for those let's see here undead undead okay so if you get four undeads you get 400 oh five is this the final prize no um Okay, I don't actually know what this means, but as you can see, five of the same faction gets you 450. So you can spend whatever you want to spend and then get the reward out of that. I'm just going to take this and we'll figure out what it takes to get a maximum score of 600 later. But most likely it's going to have to do with if I had replaced that low level guy with one of maybe a shoot or a Hester or something. I don't know. Uh, so I'm just going to count this at an average of 200 per try because it shouldn't be hard to get 200 per at, at that. Um, you can definitely get more, but I'm just going to count it as 200 and we'll just go from there. Finally, we have a new, not here, we have secret treasure for Bale. They give you two more maple leaves and three more boss tickets. So these two are going to be worth buying just for those. And then you get another 450 pumpkins from here. 
and I think nothing else changed. So it's really just adding those two. But if we count the two maple leaf or 200 per try and you get eight tries, that's 1600. If you count getting the 450 from here plus 200 and, or 400 from here plus another 100 from these boss chests. So we'll say 900, 950. So the grand total now comes up to about 7,000, 7,100 free to play. And now that's gonna give you 70, ooh, one crit, ugh. That's gonna give you up to 70 currency, possibly more, possibly up to 80. So now we are definitely in range of, the red can is guaranteed, the 88 is probably guaranteed, and then with some luck and maybe a little money, you can go higher if you want. So it is nice to know that our total is over 70 and that that at least guarantees you this frame. That that was really <laughs> that was really important because I really want this frame. Okay, uh, that is it that's changed for this event. It's a really nice change because there's a lot of extra currency to be had, plus a bunch of bonus resources from the flip event but hopefully you don't go too crazy on gems. And I just killed a goblin before I started. Why did I get another one? Okay, come on, goblin. All right, so next, next week, we have Miracle Eyes for, doesn't matter anymore, because Miracle Eyes have all heroes. Although, yeah, Miracle Eyes with the heaven and hell. And then we have Treasure Hunt for crown and skulls that doesn't mean anything because it's three artifacts but and then heroic runes is for valkyrie that is all for this week see you guys next time